think about how badass you are. Quit doubting. What are you doing? You are a badass. If you don't believe in that, what the fuss going to? What is up, my friends? Good morning. It is an absolutely beautiful Wednesday morning here in Arkansas. That's enchilada day. Go grab yourself some enchiladas at your local enchilada store. I guarantee you, after eating those enchiladas, two things are going to happen. If it's the right kind of enchilada store, you're going to be so full that you're not even going to be able to do anything at work for another hour or so. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. You're going to find joy. Find a little bit of solace in enchiladas. Knowing that that right there, well, that's the product several cultures getting together. It's a melting pot. Of It's a culinary melting pot, if you want to look at it. Not, not literally. But it is definitely representative of where I want to be. A little bit of everything. That's, that's our country, by the way. I just wanted to log in and let you know and I love you and I care about you and I'm thinking about you that you're a badass here's a nice little sports bike all you have to do is think positive be positive act proactively don't fuck yourself over think about what your reaction is going to be when you see or learn something's coming it'll be okay Brett Kavanaugh. So this woman says she's not going to testify until the FBI does an investigation. But you see, the FBI doesn't do those investigations. They gather information and submit it. That's all they do. They don't, it's not the FBI's job to assert whether the information is true or not. They just gather information. It's a stall tactic. This woman had already taken a polygraph. She had set this up. She had set any contingency that they could think of as far as she could think of, she had it covered. But she didn't realize, well, Me Too movement is being counteracted by common sense. She says, I will do anything, her attorney, She'll do anything. She's willing to do anything to get her story out. Because she wants to act like Brett Kavanaugh actually did this. Doesn't know who got her there. Doesn't know where the party was. What year it was. Doesn't know who all else was there. Doesn't know how she left. Doesn't know who brought her home. All she's sure of is that Kavanaugh and this friend who he was always hanging out with did this. Everything that has anything to do with Kavanaugh's character says that that's not who he is. Was this the pivotal moment that made him respect women the way he does? I don't know. But I do know. He was 17 years old when this, well, supposedly happened. And she was 15. They were both drinking their asses off. There's something wrong with that. I just... I want to hear what this woman has to say. I want to take her seriously. I want to believe her. Well, no, I... Really, I... be honest, I don't want to believe her. I would have, given the, the chance. If the circumstance was, okay, yeah... There's, there's something that corroborates your story. Yeah, I can believe that. But then you have his character from his entire life and all these people saying there's no way. There's no way that that's him. He never did anything like that. Hell, the man that was supposedly there with him isn't even going to entertain it. 
I've never seen him do anything like that. I've never been in any situations like that. And I'm not even going to justify that by coming up there. And now it turns out she's not even going to come up there. Because the FBI doesn't do those investigations. The FBI is not even interested in doing that kind of investigation. It wouldn't have any bearing on her testimony in that committee anyway. So uh, she needs to show up Monday. And if she doesn't show up Monday and give her testimony, oh, which as the way this has been done, she should expect a little pushback. I mean, come on. He has six times been uh, done background checks by the FBI. For what? For jobs is in the courts, in the White House. It's okay for him to be on the appeals court deciding and making law, legislating. It's okay for that, but no, he can't be a Supreme Court justice. No. What he did, you know, it's okay for that, but Supreme Court, no, he can't do that. No, this was bullshit. It's the only conclusion to have. Still, I would like to give her a chance because everybody who thinks this something like that happened deserves the chance to get their story out. Now, I, I got to tell you, though, I don't think after all this time it was even worth bringing up. Sorry. Nothing is going to happen that's going to bring her closure. Nothing is going to happen to whatever happened to her mind to make her think that this happened to her. Nothing's going to change it. Nothing's going to change. Why even fuck with it? <sighs> President Poland wants to build a two billion dollar fort in Poland so that America can put troops there and station them there and he wants to call it Fort Trump and when Trump heard that he went hmm I like that idea of course he does that's why the president of Poland said that but there here it comes there's this lie that the international community doesn't trust America, doesn't want America around, or hates America. It's bullshit. Because Poland wants us there. They love us there. It's the Arab world that has a problem with America. And it's the evil part of the Arab world. The part that has all the oil, apparently. But it's the people who chant death to America and they've got shit going on in their country apparently that that's the only place Europe can get it you shut that shit down North Korea they've reasserted this they're gonna the North and South actually South Korea President Moon has said that he doesn't care what it means to the international community. He wants peace on the Korean Peninsula. He doesn't care about denuclearization. He doesn't care about any of that shit. He just wants his people to be united again. Do not blame them at all. Do not. He would be probably the greatest leader that South Korea has ever had if that happened. In fact, yes. And North Korea, yes. Un would probably be the... Or Kim, Chairman Kim, would probably be the, the best leader they've ever had. So we'll see. Still a murderous dictator. But North and South reunite, that can be dealt with. I don't blame them for wanting that. Let's let them do what they say they're going to do. They're still bringing remains home there's they're still in talks they're still doing this they're still doing that as long as we're still talking as long as they're not firing missiles at people as long as it's friendly it's a good thing be happy 
pray for everybody that's happening over there in that storm. Man, that's a fucked up mess. Half the state's flooded underwater. Be good to each other. Love each other. Be strong because you are. You're important. You're worthy. And I love you. Bad motherfucker. Time to go to work. Have a good one. Little doggy.